good morning dear students so let's begin with our last chapter of unit 2 chapter number 8 arithmetic line graphs or time series graph i have already explained this chapter in online class also but for all those who were not there and for a good view of your notebook so let's begin with construction of a graph a graph includes point of origin that point is named as o in the graph you can see axis is also known as apsica and ordinate apsica is x axis and ordinate is y axis and there are four quadrants quadrant number one two three and four okay so let's see some other points as well the intersecting point on the graph paper is assumed as point of origin as point O. So this is the definition of it. Horizontal and vertical lines that are intersecting through point of origin is called x-axis and a horizontal line as I told you epsica and vertical axis is y-axis and the axis which divides the graph in four parts is known as quadrant so these are the definitions of it you can see clearly visible on it now what you have to remember is the positive and the negatives as you can see quadrant first and quadrant third quadrant first is perfectly positive and quadrant third is negative rest second and fourth is positive plus negative so the questions can be asked from this now a line graph include independent variable that the one you set on x-axis and the dependent variable that you have to measure and keeps on changing on y-axis so this is the definition of independent and dependent variable now you will see some limitations of graphic presentation first less significant graphs are not equal significance to all the people it is very difficult for the person who is not the literate one to interpret the graphs that what the graph is trying to say only a major tendency graph shows only tendency of data that some values are not be correct lack of precise value based on brief information that's why and the wrong conclusion a small figure change may result in different interpretations of the graphs. graphs now one variable graph are those graphs in which values of only one variable are shown as you can see in this table that the net revenue earned by railways during nine years is the is like this now we have to change uh, in the format of the graphs that is going from slant starting from 227 and then slant downwards and then begin with the upwards the blue line shows the net revenue for Indian Railways. You also have to show like this. Now, two or more than two variable graphs. These are those graphs which have simultaneously have two or more than two variables with respect to some period of time. For example, data of production and sale of factory is a two variable graph. You can see in this picture the different months are given. Jan, Feb, March, April, May and June and with respect to this production and sale is also given production with the blue line and sales with the red line you also have to show like this what a good and attractive graph and better interpretations now moving on to this i have uh, given one example as i said of uh, data in india that is of exports and imports during the year 2011 till 2017 so i will tell you how we can plot this in a graph so let's have a look at it plotting years on x-axis and export and imports on the y-axis we have made a bright red color line of exports and slighted dotted line of imports so that's how we can differentiate and interpret the data of a graph now these are the questions you have to do it yourself one mark question multiple choice question and uh, here is a long question for you so you have to find it yourself thank you everyone that's all for today